Derek Spall alongside Coach Chapman. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. Ready to get this thing started. There you go. So you returned a chunk of players from last season's team that went 24-10 and 10 and made the playoffs for the first time in franchise history. What can Sky fans expect from the team this season? Well, I, I think that's a good place to start. You can expect that core group of players that uh, kind of went through some tough times prior to last year, uh, rolled it into a successful season for the franchise, a disappointing ending. Yeah. Uh, but to take something positive from it, I think it left a bad taste in everyone's mouth and served as some motivation. So I think you can see more of the same, adding some new pieces and a lot more excitement watching us get up and down the floor. Absolutely. And a long off season, but 10 days away from the home opener against the Indiana Fever. However, you get your first look at the Fever at the WNBA preseason tournament in Orlando. This rivalry seems to build momentum year after year. Is this arguably the biggest rivalry in the WNBA right now, would you say? You know, I, I don't. I wouldn't say that. You know, we're, we're not good enough yet to be someone's biggest rivalry, but I appreciate the, the compliment. Uh, you know, Indiana obviously ended our season last year, but like you said, we'll get to see them in Orlando. And, you know, this next five days or so, so many players are still coming in. Uh, you're cutting players, or you're trying to find a little bit of chemistry before you open up. I think that's the key, is finding a happy medium, uh, figuring those new pieces in uh, with the old ones. And your preseason finale in Delaware, a homecoming for Elena Deladon against the Washington Mystic. How important is it, though, to end the preseason on a high note moving into the regular season? You know, it, it depends on what you call a high note. You know, a lot of times for fans, they think that's a win. Uh, for, for coaches, it's about watching certain players uh, develop. You, you go into those preseason games knowing certain holes you have to fill. And holes aren't always players. It's sometimes it's just aspects of play. Right. You know, are we a better rebounding team? Uh, do we get out and transition a little bit more? What's our screening like? So those games from a coaching standpoint are more about those things and, and less about uh, the wins. Uh, but uh, the, the important thing is to make sure that you're doing those key areas really well so when you kick off the season, you're ready to go. And you added a terrific rebounder in the draft, the 10th overall pick, Markeisha Gatling, 6'5 center from NC State. She's the perfect fit to back up Sylvia Fowles, but with Fowles sidelined for a couple of months. What have you seen from Markeisha and what can Sky fans expect her role to be this season? Well, you know, she's a, a body that can get down there and seal, get a piece of the paint. She has great hands. She has nice touch. She can take a bump. Uh, I think the pace of the game uh, will be an adjustment, but I would say that for any rookie, you know, right, at yeah. any position. Uh, but, I, you know, you can't take away the fact that she can get position down there uh, and she's someone you can throw the ball to. And like you said with Sylvia, you know, you know no, we didn't anticipate Sylvia having this, this labral tear and it being right. significant. Uh, so we were fortunate enough that Markeisha was there. You know, at the 10th pick, you have to be ready to go four or five different directions. So for us, knowing our situation with the injuries, it was nice to have that player available. Would you say it benefits the Chicago Sky having some of these players playing overseas, still developing their skills and coming right into camp, ready for the most part, of course, and then adjusting to that system? I think, you know, I don't like to have a blanket statement uh, because overseas can be so broad. You know, sometimes you can, you know, there are places if Elena went overseas right now, they make her play post. And I don't want to play. So, but my point is different, but I do think there are benefits to it. Uh, you can work on your game. Uh, I, I thought, you know, Courtney Van Suit, I wanted her to shoot a lot more. Yeah. You know, and now she's on a team where she's playing the two guard a little bit. So that'll help. So I think it's a matter of giving those players an indication of what they need to work on and then working with their agents and they put them in really good place. So it can benefit every, every aspect of play. Absolutely. And that's some new faces out here. And my final question for you. What are, is there a specific player or players for that matter that you've seen during camp or practice that could see a bigger role this season? Maybe that's you know, impressed you the most. No, yeah, and that, that's a lot to put on them, but I can mm -hmm. tell you, the, you know, I'll, I'll take two that's been the most consistent in terms of uh, their progress has been uh, Sasha Goodlett. Okay. Uh, she's been good. And Aaron Ellenberg. And that, that's not to say others have been oh, bad, right. yeah, you know, uh, but so. I could just, you know, top of my mind when we had the scrimmages against the guys, uh, they've done really well. All right. Well, Derek Sloan, Coach Hammond, wish you the best of luck. Thank you, man. Thank I you for your time. You. Thank All you. Right.